To make a survey experiment using Qualtrics, log into your Qualtrics account and click Create New Project. There's a lot of templates you can choose from. I usually just use Survey. In my first block, I'm going to make two questions. One is my control condition and one is my treatment condition. Both of them have answer choices like this. My second one is my treatment. So right now, a respondent would see both of these questions and I wanna make sure my respondents only see one. So what I do is I go to lock options, question randomization, And I want this block to present only one of the total questions. So now someone taking my survey is going to see only one, either the control or the treatment condition. Because I will be sharing this on MTurk, I also want to assign every respondent a random ID that they can enter as proof that they completed this survey. To do this, I go to survey flow, add new element here, embedded data, and I'm going to type in random ID. That's what I'm calling my embedded data. I want to set the value for this now. And I'm going to insert piped text, a random number. Make sure that you enter two numbers that have the same amount of digits. So four zeros and four nines, insert. Now I'm going to move this so that it's at the top of my survey. So as soon as someone opens my survey, they get assigned a random ID. And I'm going to save that flow. As of right now, my respondents are assigned a random ID behind the scenes, but they are never actually shown that ID. And because I want my mTurkers to enter this ID, they need to be able to see it. So to make sure my respondents do that, can see this, I click add block and I'm going to add a new question that's just text. So in here, my format is text. I'm going to select piped text and I'm going to add some of the embedded data that I just created. So embedded data field, random ID, and I'll click insert. So this code right here, is what is going to reveal the random ID to everyone who comes and takes my survey. But I don't just want to show them that random number without any explanation. So I've got some boilerplate that I put in here so that they can get a sense for what this random number is about. So I just use this. Um, and the last sentence you'll notice says, you will not receive credit unless you click this button. There's a button at the bottom of the page that's going to say submit survey or complete survey. And I want them to click that because if they don't, they aren't going to show up in my responses in Qualtrics. They're going to show up in a separate page called incomplete responses. And that's not what I want. So I want to incentivize them to click that button on the bottom which people might forget because they enter this in MTurk, they think they're done and they move on. So I add this sentence to encourage people to do that. But you can have that text say whatever you would like for it to say. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and take a look at my survey. I wanna add whatever other questions I need. So for you, this is probably going to include something at the beginning, asking for consent. It might be some questions about demographics. Note that along the way, you can always preview at the top right to see if you like your survey. And when you are ready to go, you think your survey is great, go ahead and click publish. And you can now share your survey by going up to this tab called distributions. There's a lot of different formats that you can use, but for MTurk, what we want to use is the anonymous link. So go ahead and copy this link. And then we're gonna head over to MTurk. So this is just mturk.com and you are going to sign in as a requester. It's probably the same login as your Amazon account. So from your MTurk account, 
you will go to the create page, which is the default where you show up, and you're going to click new project over on the left here. There's a lot of different formats you can use, but to use Qualtrics, what you'll want is a survey link, which is the default anyways. So survey link is selected and we will cl click create project. Here you're going to want to fill in these fields. There's a lot of things to fill in and there's two in particular I want to talk about. The first is rewards per response. I recommend that you pretest your survey with family and friends to get an idea of how long it's going to take because this determines what would make for a fair price. So a 2018 study found that average pay on MTurk is about $2 per hour. And there are two reasons you might want to pay more than this. First, you might not feel ethical paying $2 per hour. And second, higher pay might mean that you get faster response times. Ultimately, the decision is yours. So when you know how long your survey takes, you can work out what the hourly pay is that you would like. So let's say this is a really quick survey. I'm going to pay 25 cents for someone. Let's say I need 20 respondents. The second thing on this page that I'm going to make note of are the worker requirements. So there's a bunch of premium requirements such as whether or not someone is a homeowner, how much they exercise. You can see a lot of those here, but there's some free ones that you can take advantage of to improve the quality of your responses. So I use a hit approval percent that is greater than 98. And this means that the people who are going to be seeing my request here are usually people who get approved. They do good work, people like them, people pay them. And the next one is that the number of hits approved is greater than 1,000, 10,000. So this is just, sorry, I usually pick 1,000. There we go. So this is just a way to say that someone has been on MTurk, they've done this a bunch, um, they have a pretty good track record. So you can play around with those, do what makes sense for you. So from there, I will click design layout. And this is how potential workers are going to see your task. So you'll want to add some text here that explains what your survey is. You'll want it to be informative. Um, let them know what to expect. I usually leave this line here about filling in that random code in the box below, but I usually get rid of this section here. So you'll want to make sure that you update the survey link. So we copied that earlier, and that's our survey link from Qualtrics. And then they will put their survey code here. Next, I'm going to go over to preview. And if I like how it looks, you can see up here, it tells how much it is, how many are available, how many, how long it takes, all of that, which are things you set on the previous page with all of those fields to fill in. And if I like that, I can click finish. This takes me back to the home page. And if I want to get this going, let workers see it, what I'm going to do is click publish batch. This page gives you information, it shows you what it's going to look like, but it also is going to give you information about price. So it's going to give you this price estimate here based on the number of people you asked for, how much you're paying per person, what requirements you have, and whatnot. If you don't like this price, you can always go back to the create page and edit that page until you get a price that fits your budget. Below, you're going to select the credit card you want to pay with, and at the bottom of the page, you will select purchase and publish. Once you do that, your hit is live to MTurkers and they can start completing your task. To pay your MTurkers, what you'll do is go to manage and you'll find the project that you just had you'll click review results. So if you have unapproved submissions, AKA people you haven't paid who did the job, they are going to be listed here. And you can either individually select people or you can approve them all at once by clicking approve all here. So once they've done this and you've gotten all of your results, you can go back over to Qualtrics to see these results. So you will go to data and analysis, 
and you'll click export and import. You can export the data in a variety of formats and you'll want to click the one that is best for you and get going on your analysis. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share with anyone else who might benefit. Thanks so much.